Hi guys and welcome to VR Essentials. Today's video is all about through the lens showing you the quality of all the various different. We're going to be using three games today with Ghost of Tabor, Half-Life Alyx and also Assetto Corsa just to show you what the graphics looks like after the update of the DP VR E4 4K PC VR. Really good barrier to entry VR headset to get into PC VR if you're not looking to spend a thousand plus dollars. Or of course, you know, the G2, we don't know what's happening. If you could replace the parts or they have custom service, or even if you can buy them as HP did stop their VR department. Unfortunately, as it is a great VR headset, but there you go. This is a great alternative if you want something a bit more sure, I have to say. But wait for my complete review video of this headset after using it for about 100 plus hours coming soon so hit the notification bell after you subscribe as well all right let's dive into the video all right guys so now we're inside of half-life alex let me just go and zoom inside there we go and you can see here so the graphics are not too bad I have to admit let me just focus there we go we got it as you can see it's okay the g2 does perform better i have to admit that things are even crisper and sharper but what I do like about the DPVR E4 though is that the Fresno lenses, as I mentioned before, you know, the clarity is very large all around. That on the D2, the sweet spot is only in the middle part. So that is the compromise also. Now it does get a little hot with the E4, just to let you guys know. Let me just go up. There we go. You can see the monster up there that I killed already. I blasted the monster. It does get a little hot in the E4, I have to say, and you can hear the actual uh, motor or fan. You definitely can hear the fan for sure. But as you can see, it's not too bad. I mean, it's pretty sharp. It's pretty okay. Uh, earlier also in Ghost of Tabor, by the way, when you get closer to the trees, the trees don't jitter as much. And if the, if the trees are located in a darker area, then you won't see the jitter as much also. It's more when the trees are more contrasty towards the lighter kind of areas, then you'll see more jitter. But inside of Half-Life Alyx though, I have to say that so far it's okay, so far so good. Not that many issues, to be honest with you. Let me just zoom in, see. You see there's no color bleeding, anything. Everything is pretty much sharp. There's no, um, what do you call it? Screen door effect either. So everything is okay and you can see him, he's banging his head here against the door. Just a tiny bit of, you know, uncrispiness, but if you're not used to VR, honestly, you won't see it that much. I have to say that they've done a really good job in handling this. So sometimes it's also due to developers and not necessarily the headset. So if the developers don't optimize their game then you know you'll have more jitteriness, more jagged edges, more all those kind of things that won't come out as good in a VR headset compared to Valve, who clearly have optimized their game to make sure that all VR headsets will take full advantage of all the various different different aspects. So you can see it's really not bad. I mean you can see here there's more noise at the back. In the darker areas, that's where it starts to get a bit noisy. In the G2, it won't be as noisy over there. So what I'm talking about is this area, right? You can see the noise clearly, more noise here. In the G2, you won't see so much noise, but again, it's, you know, compromise. And also here, you see a bit more noise here. It's a bit more blurry. But once you go very close to it, then the noise will, of course, it will go away. So it's more of a, depth of field kind of effect i guess the closer you get to objects for example here it's very very clear but if i'm going to be away from it like the, the wall here of course is very clear you can see the textures on the pipe it's very it's pretty clear when you get close to the object but when you go further away from the object then that is when you start to get the compromise of the actual graphics itself so i'm just making a vr 360 tour here for you guys right 
All right, I'm trying to put the phone closer to the lens as possible. And there we go. So yeah, not too bad in general, guys. Let's uh, check out Acetocorsa now. So before we check out Acetocorsa, I just want to show you that when you get closer to the objects, then, you know, everything is more or less clear. And also the noise, by the way, I think is more of a phone effect because it is clear when I'm inside of the actual headset itself. And also because the valve actually added some uh, fog here, some dust to give it more, you know, a more atmospheric kind of area. So when you put the headset on, it's actually clearer than what you see here on the phone, just FYI. And then let me just show you from the distance now that we're towards the corner. You can see over there, it's pretty much clear also. So yeah, but inside the headset, it definitely feels a bit better than what it's showing here on the phone. But again, take it with a pinch of salt, but it is better as I mentioned. So yeah, as I said, good job. So as you can tell, uh, there's no issues with the colors. The colors are really nice. I'm just giving you a 360 degree view. However, you could probably notice a little bit, let me just zoom in a bit, that there is some jitteriness on the trees and you don't get to see this with the HP Reverb G2. So with the G2, the trees don't flicker. There's no, you know, jittery, jitteriness whatsoever. Everything is perfectly clear for Ghost of Tabor. Let me just zoom out again so I can get the clarity. But as you can see, the UI here though, uh, is completely fine, completely clear, no issue with that. And also with the G2, just so you know, uh, you actually need to turn on motion vector, but with motion vector, whilst the gameplay will be absolutely fine, uh, the hands actually will be jittery. And if you have motion vector off, the hands will be smooth, but when you're walking, then everything is jittery. So you can't get the best of both worlds with the actual, um, with the actual G2. However, the DPVR E4, as I'm walking around inside, there's no jitterness at all. Everything is very smooth. I'm running at 120 Hertz and everything works completely fine. But do remember everybody that uh, the developers need to enable the game to work at 120 Hertz for it to be compatible. Otherwise, if they didn't, let's say they developed the game to be uh, 90 Hertz or 72 Hertz, then it won't make any difference if your PC VR headset is set to 120 Hertz. So I just want to show you the jitter, the flickering of the trees here, as you can see quite clearly what it's like. So do watch it till the end as I will show you also some Half-Life Helix and also some Automobile Satu or Osuta Corsa. I will just see which one is available at the beginning and then also over there as you can see some jitteriness as well there is no color bleeding though so if there's any color bleeding occurring here it's purely because of the actual footage but there's no color bleeding i need to make that very very clear all right guys so now we're going inside of aceto corta as you can see here i mean again you know the lenses are very clear all around oh let me try to get the cars that are passing by so now we're inside of the actual cockpit. Let me just zoom in to what would be about normal. And you can see the cars here zooming in. So the cockpit is actually very clear. Let me just try to focus a bit more. There we go. It's focusing. And uh, yeah, so the cockpit is very, very clear. There's no issues there for sure. And uh, again, I think my lenses are creating some uh, depth of field effect. So what it's not focusing on will look blurry. And then the moment I go towards it, uh, basically, it sharpens that specific area, just FYI. Just want to show you that you can actually read everything, no issues there. Aceto Corsa, over there. So, your racing simulation, you can read pretty much everything. Let me just zoom in. There you go, just to show you. There is a little bit of noise. Uh, there is, uh, you know, as you can see on the grills over there, they are a little bit, uh, you know, the graphics do suffer a little bit i have to say in terms of the actual uh lines do look a bit jagged uh here and there it is also quite bright in this game so you may want to bring down the brightness and do a little bit more of contrast but uh, no otherwise it it's okay you know it's completely fine oh i lost the sensor let me put let me see 
if I can uh, hold still, there we go, it's gone. So you can see probably here, for example, let me just hold still. Let me go back here. There you go, it's gone. So yeah, you can see a little bit that the graphics, you know, suffer a little bit, especially uh, over there where the yellow car is right now. You can see over there, it is a little bit, uh, the graphics do suffer long, like where you look at away, 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 the, it does suffer a bit more than let's say compared to the HP Reverb G2, where things won't be as sharp. But again, you know, not a bad job. The grills are okay, these grills here. So I have to go this side, otherwise I lose the uh, I lose the actual tracking because there's no light on the other side. And here, as you can see, so a little bit. Let me just try to get it straight. There we go. So it's better. Just a little bit, but it's not it's not too bad. I mean, again, a little bit of jitter, a little bit of flicker over there. But it's not too bad at all. It does manage to get things in the experience inside of the car. I will do a separate video with actual gameplay where you'll see me. So do go and check out that video. Um, you know, but again, not too bad whatsoever. Let me try to position the lens better. There we go. Let me get the stand over there. All right, let me zoom out to normal. There we go. But not too bad at all. Let me just see if uh, there's a car that can wait. I can wait for the car. To come and see it come here in the uh, reflections although i did put the reflections graphics to low but everything else is more or less to super high just fyi and again the car just want to show you very quickly no issues in the car it's all nice no flickering none of that going on you know look you can see all the textures the carbon fiber here on the door no issues whatsoever you can see the shoes the legs Again, it's all good here. All good, all good. Let me see, you can see my, don't know if my feet will actually, no, you can't see my feet moving. But yeah, it's all good. The buttons all working nicely. Let me go closer towards them, as you can see. So, okay, I can't look over there. So let me just hold straight. The controller's gone out of the battery. So yeah, so all in all, not a bad job at all. Look, look, you can see him. You can see the other car. Let me see if I can go behind. Oh, he bumped into me. Let me see if I can stand up. Let me just get rid of the cable. There we go. There we go, so we can see him. See the cars coming. So, pretty decent graphics, to be honest. Oh, he's gone. All right, he disappeared. So that's how the track looks like. So you can see all the things close look quite sharp. Although there's a little bit of jagged edges here on the car as you can see on the tail here just there so this is basically what i'm talking about the g2 handles those kind of things much better and you can also see some jagged edges over there on the edges on top uh, and then other than that also at the far the g2 will handle things a bit better further away as well but anything that's close and mid perfect no problems and also the gameplay is rather okay anyway no issues whatsoever. So as I said, smash the notification bell after you subscribe as I will do a separate video showing you exactly, you know, the gameplay kind of stuff after the update, of course. So there you go, guys. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the likes if you did to let me know you want more of these kind of videos as that's how we are going to be communicating. That's how we communicate on YouTube by smashing the likes. It tells me that that is what you want. And I'll do more of these videos for you in the future. But yeah, not too bad so far running at 120 hertz. I've been basically testing it for about two, three hours now. No issues whatsoever, I have to admit. I will test out the 90 hertz as well just to see whether it's a bit smoother, a bit crisper, or maybe, you know, some of the jitteriness goes away or something. So smash the notification bell after you subscribe. Also, of course, I will be doing gameplay where I'll put my phone and I'll actually record myself. So you'll see on the PC how things are going, whether they're smooth or whether there's any breaking or anything like that. So smash the notification bell after you subscribe not to miss that video and also other videos like live AMAs with the CEO and creator of the Walkabout Mini Golf. We also interviewed the founder of Somnium Space, Cyber Shoes and plenty more to come guys. So 
I'll see you in another video very, very soon. Bye for now.